Welcome back to episode 201 of Act Pokes and Head Chokes. I actually almost forgot what episode we were on. Uh, 201. One. Oh, it's your boy. Okay, 101. Yeah. 201. Well, you see? I forgot. The other way. That's how it would have came out, right? But yeah, either way, it doesn't matter. You had 102. That, there you go. There you go. Um, it's your boy, Mr. Alex and Mr. Cooler. He doesn't know which way to do it either. Um, had a pretty <laughs> busy week in wrestling. Pretty busy, but not so busy, but still busy because... Um, Towards the end of the week, mainly, if anything, uh, we have what do we have to talk about? We have the New Japan stuff ending, like the major tournaments ending um, in yep. Best of the Super Juniors, World Tag League, and the Super J Cup. Uh, we had in Impact. We have what was the name of the pay per view? I don't be wrong. Final Resolution. Final Resolution. We also had the Triple A, um, Triple Man- Mania going on. Um, I did yep. not get to watch it, but you did watch the um, Kenny versus uh, Laredo Kid yep. match and for the yes. championship for the Mega Campeonato. And uh, then, uh, you know, a couple of little things sprinkled here and there. And we'll probably preview the WWE um, TLC uh, pay-per-view coming up this week. Again. Not too, it's not too different from what we said last week, but here we are. Yeah. So thanks once again for joining us. Um, we're here to talk some wrestlings anyway uh so what do you want to get started we just want to go straight through new japan or you want to talk about triple mania or what's up uh i guess we could talk about triple because that's the pretty much the the one that has pretty one one off like everything else is mm. everything is connected honestly yeah. and new japan has just three different things that we talk about well that we want to talk about so yeah, yeah. we could talk about triple mania my God, I didn't watch the whole pay per view. I just watched the one match, the Kenny versus the Raider Kid Dios match. Meal, because it's in Spanish, got it. Yes, yeah, yes, Dios Mio. Oh, <laughs> yes. Um, it was. It's what you expect mm. from from a Triple Mania match. Of course, they also had no no audience, so it was it wasn't too crazy, but. For me, watching it that way with no crowd, it, it gave me, like, I guess the essence to see how big the ring actually is, the, the octagon yeah. ring. It's it's amazing. Um, actually, it's not octagon. It's, it's excited. Whatever. Yeah. But either way, like, it, it, it's pretty much the... Hexagon. It's like, right? Yes. I don't know my shapes. I gotta go back to the Yeah. No, 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 no. A hexagon is six. Sure. Hexagon is six. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Pentagon. Continue. Continue. Oh, Pentas five. Okay. Continue. (laughs) But yeah, it was. Anyways, continue. Yeah. yeah. You have to. You know. Yeah. Um, it just lets me let you realize how big those rings are, and it's the same. It's pretty much the same size as a regular. Well, not the same size, but at just the space in between the ropes on Mm. each side. So it's a bigger ring. But it's just it's just six sides to it, so it's just like it's just more damage and more flying. So that's why we always I'm guessing that's why we usually see like mo- uh, most multiple people in those matches. Yeah. But back to Laredo Kid and Kenny, sheesh, uh, they're a fucking beast. The flying. There was one point where fucking um, Laredo Kid did. He did a springboard mm. backflip outside on uh, onto Kenny. I didn't think he was gonna make it, but like mid, like at at the mm. peak of his height, he fucking like turns himself, and you can see the turn. Like it looks, it looked amazing. Um, we did get to have Kenny Kenny Omega uh, have a second person there, like basically accompany him to the ring. Oh, really? Ooh. Who do you think? Yes. Don Callis. No, it's actually really, really should have been him. It should have been him, but it was not. It was what? actually his best friend, Michael Na- uh, Nakazawa. That's his best friend? I, I, that's that's what they say in AEW. So, oh. yeah. But, meh. And he got involved in the match. Some uh, in, Actually, not, I can't even say some parts, but at least two or three parts. Yeah. And it was... It was a really good, yeah, really good fight. Um, I don't want to spoil you too much, but Kenny Omega definitely did hit a second 
uh, second row with one winged angel. Oh, he had to put him away, away for real. Like, he had to almost kill him. Mm-hmm. Got it. Yeah, like, no turning or nothing. He just had him, and he just fell back and just Crap. said, fuck it. Oh, okay. Yeah. He just pulled it out out of nowhere. Got it. Got it. That's what she said. Yeah. Anyways, but not uh, even out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not going after that. And, then that's, and that is the end of my got him. Triple Mania review. For so, no, but, what, match. but the match is really good. Um, I mean, who the fuck won? Hello? Yeah. Um, it was Kenny. Kenny with a... E- yes, that, that's exactly story. how he won. Mm-hmm. Okay, got yes, it. Got it, got it. All right. Um, what happened in Impact's pay per view's name that I already forgot again? Final resolution, dog. There you go. Final resolution. So you know, the problem is they it. have final battle, right? Or is that final Ring of battle? Honor? No, that's final. Honor. Yes, Ring of Honor has final same battle. month. Yes. Yeah, you see, that was, final that's battle. what was confusing me. It's like final resolution, final battle. I'm just yeah. like, I was trying to figure out which one is like, but. And that's the 18th. It's too much. Done. Yeah. Listen, this is what happens when we start doing a uh, uh, freaking yeah, wrestling I'm tired. podcast. I'm it's tired for work. Not just everything. Not even... I'm tired for work. Well, wake up, bitch. Fucking crazy. Continue. <laughs> Yeah, so that's exactly why I don't want to go over everything, but I want to go over our favorites. We definitely got a match from Tanil Dashwood. Nice. She it was an intergender, yeah, intergender tag match. She and Caleb with a K, yes, that is his name, defeated Eddie Edwards and Alicia Edwards. Mm, it was okay. So I don't know. Um, the whole Eddie Edwards thing and Eddie Edwards and Sammy Callahan. How long has this shit been going on? Two years I feel now, like seven years. It's I'm over it, and I and I, I'm just over like, it. With them like two it's lessons. fine if it's going on, but just like, how can I put it? Have it, and I know it's some stop. Yeah, like have it stop more often than it starts back up, like. You're always going to have your Batman and Joker, but Batman doesn't only always go after the Joker. Otherwise, yeah. you're going to be fucking stale. Yeah. You have your other villains to go up against. Um, but it's just, yeah, at some point, you just like got to... not feel like that. Yeah. All, all I always it, hear is, feels... is Sammy Callahan and Eddie Edwards' names together. Yeah. And I like it, but at the same time, it's like you're still pushing from the same... Uh, from the same original, oh, yeah, it was kind of original. The the program that they had started, and the bat and the chair and the eye socket thing. Like, I like where it started. I like where they continued it, and now it's it's like I said. I think it's two years later, and they're still on top of that. We can move on yeah. a little bit, yeah. and they did bring in uh, his girlfriend a little bit. They did bring in, uh, well, I, I believe it's his wife. They brought in uh, Alicia. And they also brung in Tommy Dreamer, and then like, uh, it, it's just so many. It's a great story. It's just too short a time period, and there's no titles involved anymore. Yeah, so kind of like it's not interesting. Not that I lost my, not that I lost interest. Thing. It's, it's but just, no, you kind of do after a while. You just get it's like fatigue over the whole thing. It's just like, why should I keep watching yeah. this? It's, you know, and WWE is kind of doing the same thing with um. Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. So it's like, well, no, it, it might be more uh, interesting now. It's better. It's more interesting yeah. now, but it's just like, you know, it's one of those things like, are we going to see this again? How many, how many more times are we going to see this shit? Pretty much. That's what we're looking at. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, I agree with you with, on that. Um, what else we got? Mm, we got Manic versus Rohit Raju. Who is now formerly the the Impact X champ? So Manic champ? is. Or you cut out. You cut out what champ? No, you legit cut out. Impact. I didn't hear what you said. Impact what champ? Impact Impact X Division Championship. X Division That's... champ. Okay, sorry, because you like yes, legit yes. cut so... out. I didn't hear it twice. Yeah, so Manic is, I guess, a alter ego of TJP. And like I said, he was 
he was also like this happened on Saturday and this was also the night of two other events. One other event that he's also a part of. So um the New Japan one. Yeah, we can continue after that. I'll just ask a question afterwards. Continue. Okay. So Manic uh it didn't really seem too different from himself as TJP. It's just uh, black gear, uh, um, I guess, yeah, just black gear. He's he kept on like a top with sleeves out or whatever. Eh, I like it as a different uh, attire. I don't really care for a different um, alter ego or what have you. But it's TJP. That's my guy. Uh, I'm happy he's the champion. So there's that. That's good for him. I mean, Congratulations yeah, Congratulations you, know, you got your championship. You got your championship. All you could ask for, really. Yeah. That is it. Do you want me to keep going with Impact? I mean, we could put, might as well just finish what do want... we have. Okay, so Diana Perrazzo with Kimberly defeated Rosemary with Taya Valkyrie for the Impact Championship. She definitely did retain. After that, we had a little promo with, Car- with Carla Anderson being in... Um, what is this guy's name? I just said his name before. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega was in his little, uh, his Lex Express or whatever he called it. He was in his um, in his trailer at Impact and Carl Anderson was back there sitting with him talking before his match. Oh, nice. They got into a little, yeah, yeah. So that's one reason why I do want to talk about the interpromotional stuff that I think is going to happen. We'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get to that. For sure. So, yeah, they had a little uh, fun time banter. Um, Kenny was Kenny was saying, oh, yeah, you'll be back. You'll be back here in like two minutes. And Carl was like, no, nah, I think I, I think it'll be a little bit more time than two minutes. And Kenny was just like, what? What do you mean? Less well, more than two minutes. Like what happened? Mm-hmm. You're, you're not that guy anymore. You're that you're still that guy. You're that guy. I know you're that guy. Like they went on the yeah, same thing, and uh, Carl was just like, "What do you mean? Like, is this a roast?" He's like, "Nah, I'm just saying. Like, this is you're the machine gun. You're you're, you're, the, you're the gunner. You're gunner, <laughs> gunner." And so yeah, like that was like a quick little like that was like the only thing that really happened with with um, Kenny Omega being there, wow. but. I like the I like that aspect of just being there for the whole week, honestly. Um after that we did get that match. Carl Anderson versus Ethan Page. If Ethan Page would have won, uh the North would have gotten a title shot for the Impact World Tag Team Championships, but Ethan Page did not win. So hmm. You lose. That is horrible. I didn't say that. That was the other I mean, guy. I don't know lost. which way he's gonna be, but it he was. Lost. There. Yes. I mean, what? I mean, Loser. There's no change in that. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah. It's only one night. It's all right. Uh, after that, we finally got the the second the second black af- black wrestling athlete. Well, t- main eventer. We got black two athlete. main event. We got, but black lead, no, not that. I can't even. I, I can't even say stop that. saying it that way. Just continue. What? I don't know. Either way, it's kind of hard. Rich, yeah, yeah. We got Rich yeah, Swan versus Chris Bay. This is the first uh-huh. wrestling um, pay per view event with two, main event to African American. Yes, yeah, African American. Yes. Um, wrestlers. Yes. I don't know how to be politically correct anymore. No, no, that was it. It's, that was it. We just you know, did it. We got it. We got yeah. it. Um, it was a twenty minute match. It was a really. Okay. Well, 20 minute match. Like it's Rich Swan and Chris Bay. Who won? Can't complain. He retained. Chris okay, good. did not win. So we're good. We're good. <laughs> Chris Chris was over there. Chris was over there in New Japan doing his shit too. So yeah. listen, can't two have paychecks it all. can't hurt, right? You can't have it all. Exactly. You can get the two paychecks. We can't have it all. Fuck out of here. Anyways. Listen. I mean, that would have been monumental if, if that would have happened. Oh, it would have been dope. Yeah, it would have been dope. But, you know. Yeah. Maybe maybe not monumental. But either way, it would have been, it would have been a, a reason to watch both yeah. for more than one reason. But, yeah, it was a really good match. It surprised me. I didn't think it was going to be that good. I didn't think Rich Swan would be this good of a, of a champion. I do want him to hold it a little bit longer. And I want to see him fight everybody. 
Like, I, I want to see him fight Moose. I want to see how that match goes. I want to see him fight. Um, I want to see him fight Kenny. Yes, Kenny, Eddie Edwards, uh, Callahan as well. Like, but that Kenny match, yeah. 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 Oh, one thing about Triple Mania I did not mention on commentary, although it was in Spanish, they're going, it was in mm. Spanglish, actually. So they're going back and forth. They're saying that he is like he's on a quest for gold. He's good. He now he I'm has glad that they're saying that titles. Yeah, they say they're saying that he has I mean, two titles he and he wants more. So it's he's probably going for impact as well. Yeah. Yes, and if he's and not that's going good for, that they're all doing that because like it, it just makes sense to enhance all the relationships and just have like if he's trying to be triple champ. Let him be a triple champ, or you know, at least the quest to be the triple champ, or what, whatever. Like you know, he'll he'll pretty much own most of North America, besides WWE and besides of the available belts to him. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. he'll pretty much own North America, and if NWA gets in on it too, yeah, you know, so he and he could be so the, he could be the new Zack Saber Junior, but like. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Nick Zach Aldis Saber is that like like happens. Why not? I mean, he could he could have it for a short time and lose it to Co- just like he did with Cody. Yeah. <sighs> if it gets you more screen time well, on national television, yeah, come on. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it can happen. It honestly, um, it might be Aldis's time to actually give it up. Honestly, he's had it for, for going on three years. Exactly. And on top of that, like, if or, you can have the NWA Women's Championship on on Dynamite, you can have the NWA World's Championship on there, too. So, it, you know, yeah, you, I make it part of a pay-per-view. Like, that's one of the marquee that it doesn't always have to be the AEW yeah. Championship as being the main event. Like, that could okay. be the main event, you know? All but right. we can continue. From all there. right. All right. All right. Because we're going to get that's bogged down. Go. You're getting too all hype. You're getting that. <laughs> that's, that's what you're looking at. You're looking like Shaq doing the... Gif. Ah, you froze. All right, we're back after some technical difficulties on Cool as End. Um, apparently he, was, he was stealing Wi-Fi from somebody else, so, you know, you know how that goes. For just a moment, I you promise. Know, just um, what else are we talking it about? auto-switched, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay, anyways, um, so we're going to talk about New Japan's, correct? Correct, the Mundo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You get, uh, right. Do you want me to start? Mm-hmm. You I want me to start with the rest of Saturday? Or do you... uh, okay, I'll, do, I'll do Friday, you do Saturday. So um, we can talk about the final of the World Tag League 2020 and the best of the Super Juniors 27. Uh, so we had the first match was uh, the first like three, four matches were tag team matches. So the first four matches were all tag team matches and people won. No, I'm kidding. Um, so the first match was... Robbie Ivo, show Antonio Yano. <laughs> I know. Antonio Yano versus Taiji Ishimori, Chase Owens, and Bad Luck, Bad Luck Fale. Um, Bullet Club ended up winning that one uh, in a six minute match. Uh, after that, we had a, uh, I know, we had a another tag match. Uh, Toa Hanare, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and Kazuchika Okada versus Jeff Cobb, Great Okan, and Will Osprey. Chaos versus Empire. Empire actually won, came out with the win, which was actually um, with high bias. Yeah, it, it was. It was pretty. It was. It was pretty decent. Pretty decent. Um, I like after to see that, three. right? Yeah. <laughs> after that, we had good. Lij, Lij, um, with Sonata and Shingo Takagi versus uh, Yujiro Takahashi and Bullet Club and Bullet Club and Evil for Bullet Club. Um, Lij got the win on that one. Um, I kind of skipped that. Okay, one, I, like I wasn't that. interested. After that, we had Master Wato and Kore Ibushi versus Bushi and Tatsuya Naito. Uh, Kore Ibushi and Master Wato got the win in a pretty decent match overall. Honestly, it was uh, it was a pretty fun um, match. They were all really short, like uh, I like tag matches. Wato. To be honest, with you. Master Wato, he's weird, but he's he's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, oh. I'll give him some more time. To he's a cool me. kid. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah, he's cool. I, I like he's cool. it. I, I, you know, I hate him. Um, and then after that. The co-main event, we had the fifth match. Um, we had Finn Juice versus the Gorillas of Destiny. I don't know why I forgot their name. Um, I think the thing is kicking you. You're right. Um, okay. Yeah. We had David Finley and no Juice Robinson losing to Tanga Lo and Tama Tanga um, in a, 20, a really, really good 22-minute match. Um, they were 
fucking killing the shit out of each other. They won with the super power bomb. Um, and they won the World Tag League 2020. So now they have a chance to go to Wrestle Kingdom and who the fuck are, and um what? go up against the dangerous techers or whatever the fuck their name, Zack Saber Jr. and uh Taichi. Tai Chi. Yeah. So Tai-Chi. um should be I didn't say Tai Chi. No, it's it's already it's already they named that. No, match I mean, I know. Uh, yeah, that's the automatic match that they make, though, because the World Tag League, like, like we talked about last week, the World Tag League winners go on to face yeah. the pe- um, the title holders at um, what's the name of Wrestle Kingdom? There you go. And then yeah. for the main event, the second main event we I had like how was they got the... no. Continue, no, no, continue. No. You like how they got what? I like how they have the um, the graphics already ready for like those yeah. matches. Yeah, I I love how they already have like, them ready. I got you. I got you. I'm right there with you. Um, and then in the next co main event match, the last match of the thing was Hiromu Takahashi defeating El Desperado in a fucking banger of a match. Um, what <laughs> that was crazy. What are you laughing about? No, 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 no. I'm just laughing at you a little bit. Uh, okay. Um, it was a banger of a match. Um, <laughs> El Desperado went after his knee practically the whole time, which was. You know, that's that's what he submitted with him with earlier in the um, tournament, actually, when they faced off in the best of the Super Juniors. And he just kept attacking the knee. Um, and then Hiromu got pissed off enough to the point where he ripped off El Desperado's mask, where I was just like, oh, and Desperado said, fuck it. He, yeah. he was just like, fuck it. Yeah. He kind of left him like Batman, like, which is like half a cow. And then he's just like, you know what? I'm taking off my whole fucking thing, bitch. And they went. I and, you know, The that. amount of fury that came out of El Desperado was insane. They started slapping and punching the shit out of each other. That whole, from that one point to the ending sequence was nuts. Yeah. Like, this match See, was fucking amazing. And he had to get him with the time bomb two. Not the time yeah. bomb one, but the second yeah. one. But I um, think. Continue. I think that's a cheat code. I think that. Um, like that had to be the main event, but I think the mask rip it is a cheat code for just one for crowds. Mm. Um, I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same for in America as far as like ripping somebody's mask off. I don't think it gets that same kind of. We haven't seen it. We have. I don't think we've seen that in a very long time. But I mean, I, don't I think was it like the same reaction. When oh, I saw no, that, no, I was no. like, it's respected. We know. Oh yeah, of course. I'm just saying, I we we haven't seen that in America in in a very long yeah, time. Um, yeah. For me, the last time I know I saw it was wasn't even a rip. It was a mask. It was a something a hair versus max match or something like mm-hmm. that, and it was a WCW Rey Mysterio match, and Ray lost his mask. But yeah. we haven't see, seen it in so long, so I might just be talking based out of not seeing it on live TV here or just TV True. here in general, but. I think that's definitely a cheat code for intensity in matches as far as like AAA and, and New Japan so far. It's a cheat code, but it worked because if it hadn't worked, I would understand. But like it worked towards yeah. the towards the rivalry that they've had for such a long time because that's just him getting frustrated after a while and just she got their weed. I mean, um, so no, like it just works. Huh? You wish? Oh. Um, so it just works overall because like they've but had got, like a ten year rivalry, you know what I mean? Yeah. So like it, mm-hmm. it enhanced it, and yes, like you said, it it is a cheat code, but overall, I think it worked out. Honestly speaking, I think it did because it gave you that oh shit factor, and then you saw how hard they started going against each other right after that, and um, yeah, yeah, it was intense. It was intense. Yeah, it was I'm sitting intense. there watching. I'm like. At first, I was like, "Okay, this is intense," and then the mass shit happened, and then I'm like, "And then it went." It gets worse. Like, yeah, like everything intensifies, like Kaioken times a hundred and shit. Like, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. I'm sitting there watching, what, and I'm like, "Oh my god, they're gonna like, kill If that was an something. anime, if that was an anime, right then and there, fucking, he would have went Super Saiyan on him for ripping his mask off, like immediately. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it was that monumental of a fucking thing. That's like Frieza fucking with Goku and killing Krillin right there, and he's 
goes to Super Saiyan. That's exactly ah, what happened there. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, the so, emotions. Um, the I emotions. I mean, because you could see the emotions between the two of them, and they sold that shit amazingly. And there was that yeah. super, super, super close two count that was literally a half a millisecond away from actually touching where he kicked out. I was like, dude. Are you sure he kicked I out? I thought that was three. I thought it I was thought three, was but three. like I went back and rewinded it and I saw it. He just kicked out, dude. I was like, that was crazy. But it was a fun match to watch. Super fun match to watch. Um, but yeah, that was the finals of both um both tournaments. Fun tournaments to watch. And uh yeah, I think we can move on to the Super J Cup. You were able to watch it. I was not. I and I opted to watch um The Mandalorian, so my bad. Yeah, that's fine. So, round one was Clark Connors losing to Chris Bay. Pretty good match. Pretty good match. After that, we had ACH beating TJP. Then we had Ray Horace losing to Blake Christian. And then we had El Fantasmo beating Leo Rush. Who? Yeah. I don't know which one. Yeah, I don't know which one of those matches I like more. No, nah, I'm lying. I, ACH and TJP was was definitely my my favorite, and Leo and Phantasmo was those those were my two favorite matches for the um for the first round. Second round, we had Chris Bay going up against ACH. ACH won that match. After that, we had Blake Christian. Yeah, Blake Christian going up against El Phantasmo. El Phantasmo won again. Okay, and then we had. ACH going up against El Phantasmo, and El Phantasmo actually back to won back the winner of the Super J Cup. Back That's pretty back. fucking cool. I like that, and he's Bullet yeah. Club too, right? So yes, he is. So yes, Bullet Club won head one, head one two up. tournaments so far. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, and and also is a champion. Um, Bone Soldier. Yes. Taji Shimori. Okay. So there's literally... Wait, so what happens with the Super J Cup winner, right? Does he... So does remember he get a, what... Does he get a um, shot at Taji Shimori or no? I don't know. That shit is what, weird What did he almost said? Hiromu said that he wanted to face the winner. Of the Super oh, J Cup. Super he said J that Cup? at the end of... Yes. And no, not at the wins. end of the Super, Super J Cup. He said that at the end of the Best of the Super Juniors. No, but won. that's what I'm saying. He wants to face the winner of the Super J Cup. And then from yes, there, is that who go- gets to go and fight for the championship? Or is I, that just for, oh, I want to you know, I, face it? I would guess so. Yeah, it should I would be. assume so. Because that would make the most sense in yeah. terms of like overall... Hey, you know, let's figure out who's who's really the best super junior at this point. Because the yeah, only reason yeah. these people weren't part of the fucking of the fucking um actual tournament is because they weren't able to fly, obviously. So you had most of your American based exactly. people available and whatever. But um for the most part, mm-hmm. I think you think we're gonna get that on the road to Wrestle Kingdom type thing, maybe? Um, because remember, Wrestle Kingdom is like three, maybe two and a half, three weeks away. That's three why weeks, I'm just three and a half weeks away. My, yeah, it's the fourteenth. I can't see that happening. I think they it should, might. Though. It should happen. I just can't see that happening in the span of two and a half weeks. Mm. With flight, uh, flight infractions and things like that. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Cause, yeah, because if he if he literally if point. he literally flies no, out, no, no, from no, because what this is it's pre recorded. It's this was pre recorded. So I, possibly, and that's what I was gonna ask. That's what I was gonna get back to because you were just like saying that. Yes. Oh, they were in two shows at once, and I was just like, yeah. Okay, so how were they in two shows at once? Was it pre recorded? Now you just answer my question. So if Fantasma could have, or maybe they make it a triple threat match. Who knows? Because mm-hmm. this is the thing, Road to Tokyo Dome has tomorrow, had or technically now, um, or in the next like ten hours. Um, then they have the sixteenth, the eighteenth, the twentieth, the twenty first, twenty second, and twenty third. So 
the last three, the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, are at Kurokan Hall, which is probably where a match like that would take place to see, you know, who would go on to Wrestle Kingdom because after that, it's Wrestle Kingdom. So, yeah. yeah. Or you could maybe have it at New Year's Dash, but it wouldn't make sense to do it after Wrestle Kingdom because you should probably fight before going to Wrestle Kingdom. You know what I mean? Like, it makes no sense to say, I want to fight that dude that won his tournament and then not fight him before going to fight for the title. Because you should settle who should go fight for the title unless you make it a triple threat match, which would make sense. Only way I see that happening is if that happens and then um, Taji Shimori drops the title. So that Bullet Club doesn't fight Bullet Club. But I don't even, I I wouldn't expect that to happen like that. Nah, I wouldn't either. Honestly, I would not. I would rather I see them fight. Yeah, I would rather see them fight each other just to, just hey, for them to fight each other. It's, because you know, it's the don't take it personal thing. You know, it's, it's the job mm-hmm. type shit. Like, we still boys. You know, you get into fights with yeah. your boys sometimes, and then you just stay cool afterwards. So you just got to fight it out because it's in contract. So whatever. Yeah, and that's it because yeah. it's still, keep it business. It's still from World Tag League. Exactly. So... So it's not like Bullet Club is going to be sensitive about that shit. No, it's not at all. They know it's a business Ooh. first, relationships later. So, yes. Quick thing about Bullet Club. I, I, I'm, I'm still not understanding the whole evil aspect. I just want to say uh, what Will Ospreay did. I love, and that's what I wanted evil to do. Yeah, make his own. I think thing. I said. That I get it. That no, I mean again. we've we've said it like for the past eight weeks. So, uh, like, I get it. I 100% understand. Because I, like, I, don't, I just felt like I didn't think that. No, it's, no it's, it's an annoying thing, and it should have happened that way, the way um, he did it. But it is what it, the way um, Will Ospreay did it. But, you know, it is what it is at this point. Like, you can only say it so many times, and it's not going to change anything. So, at this point, it's like, I know. Because I'm just like, why are you still there? Why did you, why did you leave L.I.J.? To not be a leader of your own group, you know, but it, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I think we could move on to just re recap, well, re previewing the um, WWE the WWE pay per view for TLC twenty twenty. Um, ladders and bears and bears. Okay, so yeah, apparently we're still supposed to have these matches. Um, so we're supposed to. They added the Raw Tag Team Championship match, New Day versus the Hurt Business in the ladder match. Um. So that's uh that's definitely going to happen because I saw that on WWE Network, um on WWE.com. Sorry, uh we have the women's tag team championship. It's match. a ladder match. Uh, yeah, it is. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler <laughs> versus Oscar and Lana. Yeah, what's the problem? I'm excited for the ladder match. Oh, okay. <laughs> After no, that, we have the Bean Ray Wyatt and versus Randy Orton. Um. Which we discussed earlier. It might be too long, but it's probably a ladder match. All right, motherfucker. Let me finish. Um, SmackDown Women's Championship. Sasha Banks versus Carmella. Um, we know who's going to win that one. Carmella. Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns versus Ta- Kevin Owens in a no, TLC match. Not. Yo, I swear to God. If she, I'm about to put a fucking bet on this one. Like a bookies bet. Be like, yo. It wouldn't even matter. $100. A hundred dollars on Carmella, and I'll win like anyway, fucking eight thousand dollars. Watch, um, Universal Championship match: Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens in the TLC match, and then after that we have the WWE Championship match: Drew McIntyre versus AJ Styles in the TLC match. Which I'm kind of looking forward to both championship matches. To be honest with you, I, it's not a bad card overall. Like we were saying last week, it's so, not a bad card. I'll, yeah, yeah. I, I might actually watch this. I one. like I just walk around having it on in the background. Or playing Cyberpunk? I might be playing Cyberpunk. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Nah, Either I'll, way, I'll it's not it. a bad... It looks, it looks interesting. It's a short card. Um, everybody... Everybody that's on this card is good. Not that, not that the people that's missing aren't. But I don't think we need a so heavy pay-per-view right now. Like... No, you don't. Between everything don't. that just happened Saturday, everything that's, that happens next week as well. Like like I said, um, uh, final final battle for Ring of Honor is next week as well. Yeah. I don't right. know if I'm going to watch it, but still. Wrestling over. I have. So, yeah, everything is like it 
it it becomes wrestling overkill again. So um I don't know. I do not know what's I'm excited for it. So Yeah, me too. Oh, and then and then versus is happening next week too. So who's going up? E40 and Too Short. West Coast. The Bay. I know. You want to get a little hyphy? I know where they're from. You want to blow the whistle? Hmm. Anything else we got? <laughs> um, as far as cards to read, no, we do not. That is great. Um, so what I wanted to talk about without with just the idea of interpromotional things that's happening with AEW. I think AEW is going to link with or try to link with New Japan last. I think what they're doing Makes is sense. everybody else first, like. Yes, because Impact is Impact. Well, mm, they kept they kept it with uh, with AAA. They linked up with NWA. Um, I see them maybe possibly doing Ring of Honor as well because Ring of Honor needs some help. They don't look like they're opposed to helping anybody. And even with um, even with watching the Final Resolution, uh, Josh Matthews. He's, he was also saying, like, this is him and Madison Ray, and they were both saying, like, this is kind of like a Bullet Club reunion that was happening. So name dropping certain things right there let, lets, lets me know that there's at least a lot of intermingling oh, in reaching, the whole rest yeah. of the world. Mm-hmm. Which, yes, yes. at so the end of the like, day, works for everybody and makes money for everyone, honestly. Yeah. It does. And, of course... Yeah, and of course there's intermingling because, like I said, Chris Bay, Impact Star, he was just on Super the uh, Super J Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, TJP, he's also in Impact. It's also on Super J Cup, so yep. I can see that happening there. Um, Blake Christian, I'm not that familiar with this guy. Watching him on Super J Cup, I would say for you to definitely watch him because he went up against somebody that I don't think you're really familiar with, Ray Horace. Yeah, I don't, that, I'm not familiar with either one. I would say watch that match. It's a really good match. Uh, Ray, um, Chris, uh, Blake Christian, pretty much he he got a, a bloody nose. It, it was broken too, but they are really dope. Chris, uh, Blake Christian is, I guess he's signed to um, GCW, mm-hmm. so that might also be one of the promotions that he might uh like leak into with AEW as well. I'm only hopeful for that because everything to me, everything can some way somehow leak into the AEW game as well. Yeah, I mean they, they, yeah. I don't know. You're thinking too far ahead the, with the, the game. game like I, I'm only thinking that way because the game is like it's, it's so much that they can do with it. I'm thinking like okay, yeah, you got to establish the connections and, and first, though. Step one, step two, step three. I, I, it's happening. Establish though. and solidify the collect the connections <laughs> first, <laughs> and I'm yeah, yeah. And then secondly, the other thing is like back to your thing about New Japan. Technically speaking, they have ties with New Japan already. Let's not act like they don't. Yeah. Let's not act like fucking. Jericho hasn't just been not there twice we, already. Um yeah, since then, Mox. like as if Mox hasn't been there already. So like it's it's not yeah, and as if he, they haven't name dropped and everything. And they, they've had titles over there already. So it's not like Yeah. It's not like it's not there. They're just waiting for the changing of the guard at the end of the day, and that's probably what's gonna what happened after um the former president stepped down, and now we'll have more opportunities for that stuff and yes i agree with you it might be the last one for it to pop up with because they want to establish yeah, the foothold. It is they want to the establish the foothold here in the united states first i think and then once you like having impact at least north america i would say not even only the united states because when you have the yeah, yeah. yeah when you have uh, i mean when you have yeah triple a when you have impact then you start going to nwa and all that stuff like it just you know, so um, yeah, yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, fuck it, let's, let's just like all make money. Is. You know, it's interesting now. Yeah, exactly. It kind of reminds me of the rap game universe from the beginning. 
it kind of reminds me of the rap game, right? Like how before it used to be like, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and all this and that, blah, blah, blah. And now everybody's a friend rap. Like everybody's trying to make money together. So, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. And you keep fucking like freezing. But either way, um, yeah. I, did, I didn't hear that either. No, I said, um, so for the most part, it reminds me of the rap game in terms of how before pre-2009, it was, you know, there was still beef here and there, everywhere, blah, blah, this and that. And then afterwards, it's all, right now, all it is, is like, friend rap. Let's make money together. So. Okay, that's... so pre-Drake pre and Wale. Sure. Pre-that era. Whatever. Pre the, yeah. Well, no. Well, pre yes, that's, that's, that's why I said pre-2009. That's why I said that. Yeah. 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 So, okay. yeah, everything's friend rap now. It's the same. Um, speaking of Wale, Wale no, did the. Did the new you haven't met for... Wally Mania or he's... Oh, he can't Big have Wally e. Mania. Oh, he did a new theme for Big E. That's cool. That's cool. Why does Big E have a new theme? Um, Because he's kind of a singles wrestler now. But is he not New Day? Uh, No, he's he's on his show by himself. And he comes out... New Day. How he used to come out. He uh, came out whatever. on the pay-per-view as New Day, so... He came out with his old thing where he used to do the chalk shit. He came out doing that again. So that's okay, that's, that's cool. Cool. That's cool. Any other news before we sign off? Uh, I think I have some stuff. So let me double check real fast. Oh, fuck. I thought that was the stuff. Uh, no, I that was just my before, idea. I asked you before we started if you had anything. Yeah, no, nothing else. I'm fucking hungry, uh, dude. Uh, I have nothing. You little bitch. Anyways, with that being said, <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the end of the podcast because I'm hungry as fuck. And oh, a- I forgot to watch oh. BTE. Oh my god, my heart. Anyways, so that being said, that's the end of the podcast. Thank you so much for watching. Exactly you can follow us on exactly Twitter at Pokes and Jokes. Gary the Kid Baller said, I'm gonna "Mute you." At Pokes and Jokes, myself at underscore Mr. Alex twenty five underscore the guy on the other side at. And you underscore K E W L A. I did it for you. Shut up. <laughs> um, Facebook.com slash Pokes and Chokes on Instagram at Pokes Chokes Podcast. You can listen to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Transistor FM. Check out our shops on Redbubble. Just click the link below. It's going to link you to all our shit. I'm tired of fucking saying it. I was just hungry. Redbubble, Red Threadless, and Teespring. Teespring. Okay, relax. Um, and you know, Teespring. join the Facebook group and uh, patreon.com as well. So, click the link below, it takes you to all of our everything. I post ahead jokes, makes it easier for you guys. Um, so yeah, our link tree that gonna be link tree? link tree, link tree. There you go, our link tree, um, URL. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next week after TLC's pay per view, I guess. And peace out. Oh, damn, he is fucked up.